everybody. My name is Michelle. Tell me, have you ever been bullied at school? It must have happened to everyone at some point. And you're probably also thinking about taking revenge on those bullies if you ever got an opportunity. Well, I want to tell you about the day that I got my chance. Would you like to know what I did to the person who bullied me all throughout my school? Well, subscribe to the channel. And after that, I'll tell you my story. I was always quiet and shy at school. I was never part of any cool companies and I focused only on my studies. It's no wonder that I was often teased and sometimes straight up bullied. I didn't have friends, so no one really stood up for me. My only friend, Rachel, was just like me, but she was beautiful, so she was bullied much less than I was. However, all year round, I never got any mercy. That's probably why I completely forgot how to trust people, and I saw everyone around me as someone who could potentially hurt me. The bullying went on even into my last year of school. When graduation was only a month away, something strange happened. That day, I couldn't open my locker, because during the break, someone had jammed the lock shut, just like usual. I'd been struggling with it for like 10 minutes, and I had no success. But suddenly, Craig appeared and offered to help. I was kind of scared. Craig was in a different class and had a reputation as the most handsome guy and the worst bully at school. He was the one who tormented me the most. One day, I had come to school in a new dress that I wanted to show to Rachel, but when I'd opened the door to the classroom, a whole bucket of water dropped on me. I then heard mocking laughter, and it was Craig. He'd been the one to put the bucket on top of the door in order to drench me. I was soaking wet, and I felt so humiliated, I just knew I would remember that moment for the rest of my life. And now suddenly, Craig wants to help me? This felt strange. I just waited for the other shoe to drop, but... He just opened my locker and helped me pack my textbooks. Then he wished me a good day and he left. What was that about? The Craig who bullied me for so long couldn't be this kind to me. There had to be something behind it. But as I found out, that wasn't the end of it. Later that day, Craig was again kind enough to help me in the dining hall. He sat down next to me and was talking with me all through lunch, just so I wouldn't get bored. And finally he asked me, Michelle. Can I give you a ride home after school? What was the matter with him? He was acting so weird. I asked him point blank, what's going on? Why are you doing all of this? He looked a little confused and said that he really liked me. He just hadn't noticed how cool I was before. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I'll be honest, receiving attention from him felt kind of good. But I knew I couldn't trust him, so I thanked him and said no. The next day, I went to school in a pretty good mood. And I've got to say, it was because of Craig. All of a sudden, I saw Rachel, who was looking terrified. Where have you been? I've been looking for you since yesterday. I couldn't understand what was happening. But then, Rachel told me some shocking news. It turns out, she'd accidentally heard a talk between Craig and his best friend Mitch. Craig had said he would make me fall in love with him. Mitch didn't believe him, and they started arguing. If I told Craig I loved him before prom, Mitch would lose. And he'd have to buy Craig a PlayStation 5. If I didn't confess, Craig would have to buy the video game console for Mitch. I couldn't believe my ears. So that's why Craig had been so sweet yesterday. It was just some new prank I'd fallen for. Ugh, how could someone be such a horrible person? My first instinct was to find Craig and tell him I knew everything. But suddenly, I had a brilliant idea. I decided I'd get back at him. The prom was a month away, and Craig was gonna do anything to get me to confess before then. So, I figured I would take advantage of it. And at the last moment, I would tell him that he lost his bet. Then I'd laugh in his face. So, I pretended to believe him and didn't reject his advances. He went to the movies and we hung out after school. Craig was really nice, but I had to keep reminding myself of why he was doing all this. One day, Mitch came up to me while I was rummaging through my locker. I was curious as to what he wanted from me. He chuckled and asked, Michelle, they say you're dating Craig now. He was definitely asking me for a reason, but I had nothing to hide, so I said, Yes, I am. Why are you asking? Mitch smirked again and said I'd probably forgotten what Craig was really like. He started to tell me all sorts of nasty things about his friend. And then, I realized why he was doing this. He needed me to be disappointed with Craig so he could win the bet. I hate them both. What a mean person! Craig is great, and we're serious, I replied calmly. I could tell by Mitch's face how 
pissed he was. He wouldn't win that easily, and now he knew it. Craig was doing everything I wanted him to. He drove me to school in his car, did my homework for me. Oh, if only he knew that I knew about their stupid bet. But I held my tongue and enjoyed my revenge. One day, I was trying on a dress in a fashion atelier, and I completed my look with my mother's necklace. Craig saw it and asked, Michelle, don't you think that doesn't match your modern dress? Well, he didn't know, so I told him the story of the necklace. It used to be my mother's favorite. She really wanted to go to prom, but she couldn't because she passed away five years ago. I decided to wear it so that the memory of my mother would be with me and she could finally go to prom. When Craig heard that, he suddenly grew very serious. I asked him what was wrong, and he told me that he'd also lost his father as a child and that he wore his watch as his memory. That was really touching. In that moment, Craig was so sweet. <sighs> No, no, no. I can't trust him. He probably made that up. But when I told Rachel about it the next day, she said it was true. Craig's father really had died when he first started school. Wow, Craig was honest. Was he really that bad of a person then? Over the next week, Craig and I talked a lot. He told me about his hobbies, and I was surprised to learn that we had a lot in common. We liked the same movies, listened to the same music, and I'll be honest, I may have started to really like him. Maybe he'd matured and become more serious? One day, I was walking down the hallway, and I saw some guys near the girls' bathroom. What was going on? I came closer to take a look, and everyone was watching Mitch, who'd locked some poor kid in the bathroom and wouldn't let him out. Ugh, again with such cruel pranks. Then Mitch saw Craig walking by and shouted, Hey man, help me hold this loser. It'll be fun. But... Craig did something that I wasn't expecting. He pushed his friend away and he let the kid out of the bathroom. Mitch, it's time for you to grow up. This isn't funny anymore. He said angrily. Craig's friend hadn't expected to hear that at all from him. He pushed Craig and he called him a pathetic loser. My boyfriend fell and he hit his head. I immediately ran up to him and I helped him. Craig had acted so nobly. At that moment, I felt that I'd truly fallen in love with him for real. It wasn't a game anymore. Could this relationship be real? Later that day, Rachel told me she'd overheard Craig talking to Mitch again. My boyfriend said he no longer wanted to take part in the bet because he really loved me. Mitch got angry with him and told him that only cowards acted like that. And after that, they had a huge fight. And that's when I realized that our relationship was serious. I wasn't angry with Craig for the past anymore. And all I wanted was for us to be together. The most popular guy in school had become a good person, after all. And finally, the day of the prom came. I was so happy. School was over, I had a cool boyfriend, and we were going to prom together. I was planning to say the magic words he'd been waiting for. And then, I saw Mitch again. I didn't want to talk to him, but he said it was important. Mitch told me about their bet. You shouldn't trust him. He's very cunning, and he's doing all of this just to win the bet. He said seriously. Mitch added that Craig would never change, and he'd always be a cruel prankster. If I told him I loved him, he would just laugh in my face and make a fool out of me in front of the whole school. Mitch's words made me uneasy. What if he was right? And Craig was just really good at lying to me. And somehow he'd managed to deceive me. I remembered the time that I'd been showered with water while wearing a new dress because of him. What if he pranked me just as cruelly at this prom? I couldn't let Craig fool me again. And so, I had a little surprise waiting for him. And finally, it was the long-awaited day of prom. I was wearing my gorgeous dress and my mother's necklace. Everything was ready. In a few minutes, Craig appeared. He looked gorgeous in his black suit. He came up to me, and everyone started paying attention to us at once. He looked a little shy, but he still said, Michelle, I've been meaning to tell you this for a long time. I love you. I heard all my friends gasp. It was so sweet. I could barely hold back my tears. But I steeled myself, and I said, My dear Craig, I also want to tell you something. I... I don't believe you! And with that, I yanked on the ribbon tied to a bucket over the door. It tipped right over on Craig, and it got him completely soaked. Everyone gasped in surprise. Mitch was there, and he was laughing wildly. I've won the bet. I've won! PlayStation 5 is mine! He shouted. At that moment, I again felt uneasy. Was that the right thing to do? Craig just looked at me sadly, and he wiped his face and left the party without a word. Rachel came running up to me. What have you done? He loved you for real! She shouted. 
I got the feeling I just lost something very important. I just hadn't let bygones be bygones. And I'd made a huge mistake. Guys, I really need your help. What can I do to get Craig back? I want to talk to him, but I don't know how to start. What should I do? Please, tell me in the comments. I really need help.